Hey Toolnuts, Doug here from Toolnut.com. Today in this video, we're gonna be going over the new Makita 36 volt plunge saw. So just a couple of features on this new saw. Biggest thing, you have to use both batteries on this saw. If you don't have both batteries, it will not power up. You have an onboard fuel gauge here. You can hit this button and it illuminates there. You can see we got full power on the saw. This also has an auto speed change, which adjusts cut and speed torque. It has a electronic speed control to give you constant speed under load. It has a soft start feature built into it with an electric brake. It also has variable speed control located right here on the dial above your fuel gauge. This saw allows you to get up close to a wall, uh, 11 sixteenths from the end of the blade to the wall. The cut capacity on this is 2 and 3 sixteenths at 90 and 1 and 9 sixteenths at 45. The bevel on this saw, you can go from negative 1 to 48 degrees, which is really nice. Uh, you also have built-in dust collection. And this will work with, obviously, Makita's dust extractor vacuums. It will also work with other brands 36 millimeter and 27 millimeter extraction hoses, which is nice. Pounds, it's about 11.2 pounds with the batteries on it. Another quick thing that I really like that you can use only on Makita rails. This will work with Triton and Festool rails also, but this feature can only be used on the Makita rails. It locks it in, there's a little groove built into the Makita rails when the saw is on it. So if you engage this during a bevel cut, the saw won't tip off the rail. So really nice. With other brands, you gotta kinda hold your hand there and hope that it doesn't tip on you. So this saw can be purchased two different ways. You can purchase it as a bare tool, which does not include the batteries, case, or charger. The best method of purchase is as a kit. So you would get the saw, a blade, a wrench, two 5 amp hour batteries, a dual port rapid charger. They do give you a separate case for the charger and batteries, and then they also include a case for the saw itself. Just a quick note, the rail is not included with either package. So this must be purchased separately as an accessory. If you're going to join two rails or multiple rails together, you do need to get two guide rail connectors for each joint. You can also purchase a 118 inch guide rail if you don't want to join rails. You can also purchase two clamps and there's also an edge guide for use when you're not on the guide rail. This is Doug from toolnut.com saying thank you for this and other great videos. Please go to toolnut.tv.